Wait, in this moment you may ask yourself how did the protagonist of this video end up in this rather unfortunate situation. So let's rewind. Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel and look at this, it's the Raspberry Pi 400, a rather neat um, all-in-one PC based on the Raspberry Pi. And this one has much more power and performance than the Raspberry Pi 3 I used previously on this channel. And also recently I found out um, that the Reaper digital audio workstation is available for the Raspberry Pi. So my credo is why make it easy when you can make it complicated? Let's use Reaper on the Raspberry Pi today and see where that leads us to. Here we go. Okay, so for this video I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi 400. This is an all-in-one version of the Raspberry Pi. And uh, yeah, it's got a very nice keyboard, nice bit quality. All the input and output parts are located on the back side of this machine. So we got the GPIO port here, the SD card slot, two HDMI outputs, um, the USB-C power connector, and the USB 3.0 ports and the network adapter. And yeah, it's a nice machine. It's very fast, good performance compared to the Raspberry Pi 3 I had previously. And one thing you really should buy uh, is the PSU because all the power adapters I had at home didn't uh, give enough power to run this machine. And uh, yeah, then I also will use uh, my cheap audio hat or sound card if you want to. Uh, you can find this on Amazon for around 10 bucks. I'll link it in the video's description. And uh, of course, um, for this machine, we're going to use this adapter cable here um, in order to connect the sound card to the GPIO port. And um, I also bought, bought the mouse. Uh, which is quite nice. And I have this mini HDMI to normal HDMI cable here. Yeah, and I'm going to assemble this, connect it to my audio recorder and yeah, let's start. Okay, we'll start by downloading and installing Reaper. This is easy. Just open the web browser, go to reaper.fm, go to the download page, scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page and there you'll find the Linux experimental builds. What you want to download there is the ARM V7L version. Just download that to any folder, then unzip it in your explorer, and then run the install script from a shell, and then answer all the questions, and um, then after all that is done, you'll find Reaper in your start menu in the audio tools section. So now let's launch Reaper and we'll be greeted with a first problem to solve immediately. There's an error message saying it can't find your audio hardware. Fortunately, this is quite easy to fix. Just go to the options menu, go down to preferences, open the audio section and there you'll find an option to start the jack daemon automatically when starting Reaper. So that's out of the way. Next problem. There are no MIDI devices found in your MIDI setup. So let's open QJackCTL from a terminal and there you'll find the problem. All the MIDI devices on your Linux system are registered to ELSA, but you need them in Jack for a Reaper to work with them. So we're stuck here. But as always in Linux, if I have this problem, someone else will already have solved it and after some googling for approximately 220 years I found a solution. There's a tool called A2J MIDI or something like that. You'll need to download that from the yeah, Raspberry repository, install it, launch it and then press refresh and well bingo! All your MIDI devices are now there. Okay, so now our MIDI devices are working, which is great, but now we're facing the next problem, which is there are no software instruments or plugins available for Reaper on this platform. 
So let's try to work around this by uh, launching a standalone uh, software synthesizer like Synth V1 and connect this to a digital auto workstation via QJAC CTL. And yeah, it's possible. Um, you have to connect uh, the MIDI output of Reaper to the MIDI input of Synth V1 and then connect the audio output of Synth V1 to Reaper and Reaper's audio output to the system audio output. And within Reaper itself, um, press the routing button of your MIDI channel and select the A to J MIDI output through. So when you play back your MIDI track now, it will get sent to Synth V1 and then you can capture the audio output of Synth V1 back in Reaper. And that's a fantastic workaround. Okay, and with all of this set up, it's time to record a short track. Here's a vocal take I prepared earlier and I will record a synth pad and uh, some arpeggiated stuff and drums and so I prepared in synth we won previously. Here we go. Okay, so far so good, but there's one last problem I want to solve. And that is adding a lush and huge reverb to my track. And as those plugins are very sparse, at least native to Linux, um, maybe I can incorporate um, my own reverb I programmed some months ago on this channel using web audio in the browser. So perhaps it's possible to do that. So the thing is, apps on Linux can rely on different audio servers. For example, the Chromium browser uses Pulse Audio, while Reaper uses Jack. So in order to incorporate my web audio reverb into Reaper, I'll need to install a bridge between those two audio systems. In the Raspberry repository, search for Pavu Control and install it. After installation, edit slash etc slash pulse slash default dot pa and add the lines shown on the screen now to the end of that file. Save that and reboot your system. Once your system is back up again, start Reaper again. Then use the new audio icon to restart the pulse audio server by clicking on terminate server. Now in QJAC CTL, Pulse Audio Jack Sync will now be listed as a source and a destination, and in my Chromium app, it will show up as an audio source. Now, set up the connection in QJack CDL accordingly, and you've got a monumental reverb ready for use in your track. And here's how that sounds. <laughs> Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. 
And um, also a big thank you for everyone who supported this channel in um, the December of 2020. Uh, that was really appreciated. And um, I wish you a happy and healthy and good new year of 2021. And I hope it's going to be a better one than 2020. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.